Continuing with the multiple operational test of the BrahMos system, the Indian Navy has tested an anti-ship version of the BrahMos system from its destroyer INS Ranvijay, and it successfully hit the target ship at 300 km near the Karnikobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal. The Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has successfully tested the first prototype of indigenous 1,500 horsepower engine for full output with turbocharger. The turbocharger of the engine was developed by Gas Turbine Research Establishment in 2019, and this air-cooled 1,500 horsepower engine is being developed for next-generation main battle tanks. Hindustan Aeronautics has issued tenders for a propulsion system weighing less than 52 kg and a continuous power output of 30 kW, which will be equipped on the 200 kg prototype of rotorcraft unmanned aerial system, that is being developed in partnership with the Defence Research and Development Organisation. The drone is expected to have a range of 200 km and will be able to carry a maximum payload of 40 kg, and its first flight has been planned by the end of 2021. The Indian government has accelerated the plan to develop an air-launched swarm drone system by 2024, and the developmental and prototype cost is around 1,000 crore rupees, under which the Jaguar strike aircraft will be able to launch 24 drones from four pods, that will take down individual targets like Enemlia defense systems. A very high-altitude long-endurance unmanned aircraft is also being developed that will monitor the target area from 70,000 feet and will provide real-time feedback to controllers. The per unit cost of the Astra system has been pegged at $1.1 million, and this high unit price is due to limited numbers of orders placed by the Indian Air Force, and this contract also has other arrangements like software upgrade and installation costs, and other costs related to spares and training round. Even at $1.1 million, it is a fraction of the cost of Russian, French and Israeli air-to-air systems. The cost of Astra Mark 1 will see a 10% drop if a larger order is placed, or if India finds an export customer for the indigenous missile. <laughs> Philippines Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana has said, that the economic situation has led the Philippines government to prioritize its citizens, over the purchase of Brahmo's system from India, and the procurement process has stopped even after completion of price negotiations, as Philippines has lost the budget to procure the supersonic cruise system. In a major development, Basin trials of indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant was successfully conducted at Cochin Shipyard Limited, marking its entry into the final phase of the carrier building project, while the sea trial is planned in the first half of 2021. National Aerospace Laboratories has issued an expression of interest for detailed design and engineering of airframe for the Saras Mark II, which is a twin-engine turboprop 19-seater light transport aircraft. The Indian Air Force has committed to order an initial batch of 15 units, which will be 25% cheaper than any imported aircraft in the same category. The DRDO has created a new laboratory by merging two laboratories, and is named as Defense Geoinformatics Research Establishment, which will focus on research on different types of train and avalanches along the border with China. Oh,